Hi friends, welcome to Cozy Chang Tales. Today we're going to be reading That Monster on the Block by Sue Gans Schmidt. That Monster on the Block Somebody was moving into Vampire's old house today. The house was dark and dreary, one of Monster's favorite on the block. Maybe the new neighbor would be an ogre and Monster would be invited to swim in his mucky, murky swamp. Or a greedy goblin with piles of gold to jump into, right up to Monster's snout. No wait, maybe it would be a dastardly dragon. Monster loved a good greasy barbecue. Inside, Monster worked on his welcome growl. Greetings! Great to meet you! He peered at the polka dotted van. The movers took out a trampoline, toted trunks, and unloaded a unicycle. Then, out popped Monster's new neighbor. Big floppy shoes, wild orange hair, and a round red nose. It was... A clown? A clown! And that clown was cartwheeling across the yard. Monster picked up the phone and called Zombie. Beep beep boop beep. Our new neighbor is a cartwheeling clown, said Monster. Ung, uh, ing, uh, said Zombie. Just what I thought too, said Monster. There goes the neighborhood. Boop boop beep beep. There is a clown living among us, said Monster. Ah! <laughs> said Mummy. Yes, said Monster. Before you know it, there will be more. Beep boop, beep beep. Did you see that clown? Right on our block, said Monster. Roar, said Yeti. I agree 100%. Clowns are creepy, said Monster. Monster did not welcome Clown to the neighborhood. Nobody did. So Clown went around to introduce himself. Clink, clink. Ding dong. Knock, knock. Yoo-hoo, Clown called. Monster did not answer. Neither did the neighbors. Clown left notes along with surprises. Do come by and Clown around. Your new neighbor and friend, Clown. Monster got a can of delightful worms. Zombie got a delicious cake. Yeti got a bouquet of flowers. And Mummy got a... Clown sat on his porch. He sat and waited and waited and sat. No one came around. But Clown couldn't stay down for long. He put on a happy tune, gave his house a makeover, and popped up a tent. Monster called a neighborhood meeting. This is out of control! And so was the meeting. I will scare him away, Monster declared. So at midnight, Monster made a terrible clatter, played his spookiest music, and let out a mighty roar. He even scared himself a little. But Clown didn't hear any of it. He was out. Zombie's two-headed cat was stuck in a tree. Clown got him down. Yeti lost one of her dancing shoes, so Clown brought her a new pair. They fit perfectly. And when Mummy's sheets flew away, Clown brought them back. The next day, Circus music woke Monster from a wonderfully awful nightmare. Monster called the neighbors for another meeting, but nobody answered. It's time for me to have a word with that bozo. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Circus school now open. That music, it was quite catchy. Snarl, snarl, snarl. A warm, buttery smell made Monster drool. Growl, growl, growl. 
Welcome, greeted Clown. You're just in time for cartwheeling class. You're all hanging around with this clown? Roar! Hollered Yeti. He's fun for the neighborhood? Said Monster. Mmm! Shouted Zombie. And zero percent creepy? Said Monster. Ah! Waved Mummy. Oh, flogger bogger! Said Monster. Fine. I'll unwind a bit and give him a chance. Clown helped Monster take on the trapeze, ride the unicycle, and master the cartwheel until the sun settled down. That clown, he was more fun than a barrel of popcorn. The next day, Monster called Clown. Beep, 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 beep. Could you join us Sunday for sludge berry swirl scones and tea? asked Monster. Yes, I'm sure I can juggle it, said Clown. That Sunday, as Monster poured the tea, a moving van pulled onto the block. Another new neighbor? grumbled Monster. Out popped... A unicorn. A rainbow-loving magical unicorn? Monster growled. Unicorns! He turned to the neighbors. Do they eat scones? asked Monster. Welcome, neighbor. The end. Thanks for watching Cozy Tang Tales. Subscribe.